What is the traitor's game? Is it strategy? Or luck? A bit of both, perhaps. Will the smartest win? Or the boldest? Or does the cheater take the prize? This is a game of trust. A constant clash of believe and deceive. The stakes are high, and the winner takes all. Lose the game? Lose your life. Your move. TLA is such a big conference, but I was just catching up on my own. Uh -huh. A blooper. <laughs> TLA is such a big conference. I was just catching up on my reading. I was reading the uh, this past Sunday's New York Times book review, and lo and behold, I was looking at the children's bestseller list and the young adult hard covers. And... Jennifer Nelson, Nielsen, you are on this. Welcome to TLA and Kidlit TV, and welcome to the New York Times bestseller list. Thank you. That was that was a huge honor to make the list. We were jumping around. There was much celebration. Yes. Now, uh, how um, far in advance do you find out that the book's on the list? I I think I only found out a few days maybe in advance so it was like kind of a keep it quiet sort of thing and I think I kept it quiet for 82 seconds uh -huh. tops. <laughs> yes, well but it's not the first time you've been on the New York Times bestseller list, right? No, it's not the first time but it's the first time that a book on its debut week hit the New York Times and so it was just a huge payoff and thanks to all the all of you who were buying the book or buzzing about it I mean you got, were the ones who made it happen yeah, all those all those pre-sale orders yes yeah. yeah and and the book is the first book of a uh, new uh, trilogy the, the traders uh, game right yeah it's a little older than my other books um, but it has that same sort of uh, twisty sort of plot and sort of humor and danger that people have become used to from yes. me and uh, it is uh, the setting uh, this is going to be kind of a, an other world medieval setting uh, but it's uh, a different medieval world than you've ever seen before this one is very dangerous there is uh, trouble I mean you cannot ever trust exactly the stand, the ground that you're standing on. So this is the third trilogy? Yeah, it's the third trilogy I've done. So we're, uh, so we're going to uh, coin a new uh, term. A trilogist. You are a trilogist. A trilogist. All right. This just happened now. So my bio is changing and you were here. You saw it. Trilogist I am. Yes. So the um, remind our viewers uh, the other two um, trilogies? Uh, False Prince was the, um, the one that I'm probably best known for, the Ascendance trilogy, and then the Mark of the Thief trilogy, and uh, this one then becomes the third in my trilogist history. Yeah, so when you name uh, your characters in your books, now the, uh, the, the female character is a Kes uh, Kestra. 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 So tell me the origin of Kestra. Oh, you know, um, a lot of my names, it just comes from me combining the sounds of letters until it feels like the name I want. And for Kestra, I probably went through 20 different names until I knew I had the exact combination that just kind of encompassed her fire and her spirit and, and this fight that she's about to go on. Because I wanted something fierce but feminine. Right. Now, uh, and now, when you meet a girl maybe 10 years from now or maybe 15 years from now named Kestra, you'll know. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> often I'll do it just the opposite way. If I uh, meet, a, meet a student in a, in a signing and I love their name, I'll just say, well, can I, can I take your, your little tag that has your name on it? And I have a little pile in my office of collected names. And I'll tell the kid, uh, if you ever see your name in a book, it's not a coincidence. I stole it from you. And uh, so 
I do. Every so often, I'll pull a character name from an actual reader. Well, when you see a Jennifer at a book signing, just get a little sticky note and put your name on it and say, please, please. Put <laughs> yeah, just kind of push it forward because there's so many fascinating names out there. And I love the idea that if you are a fan of one of my books, that you end up seeing your name in one of my books. Terrific. Yeah. So uh, you live in Utah. And uh, so tell us about your, your writing den or nook. <laughs> Um, so I live actually in the mountains of Utah, um, and I can write just about anywhere as long as it's quiet. I mean, most of the time it's just me in my office or me on the couch, but um, I will... So, wait, you, uh, you actually write on the couch? I, anywhere, anywhere I can because uh, I'm doing two books a year, and so I'm always on deadline, so I don't get to be picky. If I've got a chance to write, I've got to be writing. Right, and uh, so, so you write anywhere, so you don't like have, uh, do you have an office, a writing office? Yeah, I've got an office, but I'll do that. I'll, I'll put out a blanket on a nice day and write. I'll write on the airplane, I'll write in a hotel room, I'll write in, you know, 20 minute blocks between uh, panels at uh, TLA, whatever I can do. I'm do it. Okay, yeah, you heard it here, between the panels, she's writing the uh, book two? Or is yeah, book two finished? Uh, no, I am. I'm working on uh, book two of uh, Trader's Game series, and uh, it's going to be pretty awesome, I think. Right. And, uh, and the timeline is, well, this just came out. So uh, book two will come out uh, in 2019? Early 2019, but I think it's going to be worth the wait. Yes. And the um, <clears throat> Northern Utah. So tell me about... Like, tell me, I've never been to northern Utah, so, so tell me about your, your the surroundings. <laughs> I live in a small town um, behind the Wasatch Mountains. We have, um, we have more cows and chickens than people there. Um, in our whole county, we have one high school, uh, one grocery store, but we've got two elementaries because we're really advanced. Um, everyone knows each other. Um, it's, it's a great place to live, very quiet, um, but wonderful place. So are you the uh, town celebrity? <laughs> no, you know, one of the great things about where I live is that nobody actually cares about um, what you do or, or what, they care about who you are. And so if you're a good person, that's, that gets the priority right. in my town. Nobody cares about beyond that. Right. And um, the... Um, before we talk about your other project, we saw the uh, trailer right before, and, and that was a family project, right? That was. That was uh, kind of a labor of love by my family. The, the narrator that you heard, that's my daughter. It took her 45 minutes to stop doing celebrity impersonations and just <laughs> read the script. And, uh, and then all the visuals, that was done by my husband and my um, adult son and my eighth grade boy did all the visuals. You don't have an adult son. <laughs> I do. I have a 22-year-old boy, and, and he said, I think I might want to go into this industry. And I said, oh, yeah? I'm going to give you a project, and then we'll see. And he fell in love with all of it. Uh, terrific. Now, uh, you have another book coming out, a little different uh, uh, genre. It's uh, Resistance, mm -hmm. and it's historical fiction. Yeah, this is based on the true story of the Jewish teenagers in Poland who said, we will not die on our knees to the Nazis. We are going to fight them. And uh, it's based on true events from World War II. So when you um, research, uh, do the research for your book, do you uh, do it from Utah or do you actually travel? I discovered this story in the uh, ghetto, um, the former ghetto area in Krakow. Um, and I just discovered um, little bits and pieces of that there had been a resistance movement and from there I just couldn't stop finding out more um, because it's a story that's just begged to be told for years. Uh, this is not your first uh, historical fiction. Uh, your other book? The other book, the other historical was A Night Divided which is a Berlin Wall escape story and uh, it's it's been very very popular amongst uh, middle grade readers in particular. Uh, so this was, uh, it, I think it, it forms a nice companionship with um, Night Divided because Night Divided is post-World War II and it's like, all right, let's find out how did Germany get there. Mm -hmm. Let's take it some steps back. Right, and uh, we were discussing before the uh, interview the uh, common theme in both 
uh, your historical uh, fiction and your trilogies. And uh, so the common theme is? Yeah, it's danger. You know, I don't, I don't care about the little sticker on the end of the book, and I don't think kids care about the sticker. Um, I write about characters who are in a lot of danger, and I believe that if it's a good book, kids will find it, no matter what the genre is. So yeah, my genre is danger. So what was the most dangerous situation you've ever been in? <laughs> uh, for my own stupidity, or that I just happened? To be. <laughs> you could choose. Um, actually, you know, we were talking about uh, New York earlier. Um, when I was 18, I did my graduation um, trip to mm -hmm. New York, and uh, we were in Battery Park and wanted to just see the Statue of Liberty at night and uh, became aware very early on that we were being followed. And uh, thank goodness we were rescued by a very kind New Yorker who uh, showed us a quick escape route from where we were at. It would have ended badly. Oh, my. Okay, well, you keep that. Maybe that'll show up in a, uh, a future book. <laughs> uh, you know, I hadn't thought about it, but now, again, this happened here. I, as a trilogist, have just found a new opening scene. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. Well, that's uh, very interesting. Just remember, Kid Lit Trivia, you know, another bit of Kid Lit Trivia. When uh, you see that scene in one of Jennifer's books, you'll say it happened here at uh, TLA. So two books a year, and, you know, one is being the, being the trilogist, and then the other book, uh, is it also going to be a historical fiction that's... Um, uh, yeah. in the pipeline as they say? Uh, you know what, I've got a little bit of a lot going on in the pipeline so 2018 is a book one of a trilogy and a historical 2019 is book two and a third historical uh, 2020 is book three and a completely new genre. A completely new genre, well we'll have to uh, stay tuned to find out about the uh, the new genre but I bet they'll there will be some sort of danger in the new genre. There is danger and mayhem ensues. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping by. Oh, it was a privilege to be here. Kid Lit TV is awesome, and thank you all for being readers and supporters of books. We're going to